Hey geez, remember that um, chocolate that I made before? And how it was, how good it was, and I ate it all up, and I've been thinking about it. And I've been thinking about chocolate, and I've been thinking about peanut butter, and I was like, hey, I wonder if I can make a peanut butter cup. So come with me to the kitchen, and we'll see if we can get this thing started. Hmm. Hello, geez. We're going to get started making this chocolatey treat. In here, I have the cocoa butter melting. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of cocoa. I know it seems like a lot, but... And I will add a quarter cup of confectioner's sugar. it down. There's no clumps. It's about right. I'm going to do a taste test. I'll say that's both chocolatey enough and sweet enough. One thing about making chocolate this way is that you can control how sweet it is. Oh, and let's not forget the cinnamon. I forgot the cinnamon the last time. Mm. And this, that's about a half a teaspoon. Turn the flame off. Give it one more taste. Mm, that's perfect. Now we're going to make the peanut butter filling. Just gonna add some peanut butter in this bowl. I think that's enough. It's probably more than enough actually. And to the peanut butter, we're going to add confectioner sugar. Just to sweeten it up just a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> or maybe a lot. And we're going to mix this. So the sugar and the peanut butter are well combined. And just have to smush it in there. Hmm. Isn't that too sweet? It's just right. Oh, this is going to be a yummy snack. I'm even going to put this chocolate in the refrigerator for a little bit to help it cool off some more before we put it into the mold. Okay, gee, so I'm back. <clears throat> and the chocolate is 
it's a little warm, very liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in the bottom of this, stick it in the fridge, let it harden, and then I'll come back with the peanut butter and top it off with the rest of the chocolate. This is going to be so good, I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh yeah, it's sticking up nice. It shouldn't take too long to get hard. Yeah, it has to get a little hard so that the peanut butter won't go sinking to the bottom. It smells so good right now. And I'm not going to stick it in the free. Oh, well, I could stick it in the freezer. Just to let it get hard. I was teasing Vern from Vern's Junk Closet about the peanut butter cups because the other night <laughs> we were in B Hop Nation's um, live. And she wanted chocolate. So I told her I was going to make some peanut butter cups. Not that I'll be able to get them to her, but <laughs> especially in this heat. Oh my goodness. The, um, chocolate. Well, no. The cocoa, what do you call it? The cocoa butter was soft when I took it out of the cabinet. I was like, oh no. Oops. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave that out so it doesn't harden, and then I'm going to go stick this in the fridge. I'll be right back. Okay, so the chocolate's hardened, and now I'm going to put the um, peanut butter in, but I have to be really careful just to put a little we still have to cover it with chocolate. Oops. I must be making funny faces because I always make funny faces when I'm concentrating. I remember 
when I used to draw a lot, I would um, hang my tongue out of my mouth for some reason. <laughs> it was just a habit and it must have looked so weird. Hmm. And now, we're gonna top it off with more chocolate. Oops, chipping it on the table. Now I'm going to stick this in the freezer and wait until it hardens and then we can sample it and see if it's good or not. See you in a minute. Okay, so the chocolate's hardened and it's melting quickly. Turn it this way. So we're going to have to hurry up and taste it. Mmm. This isn't the weather for it, though. <laughs> hmm. I have to figure out a hardening agent without having to use chemicals and stuff the chocolate. It's good. This is more like a winter winter time treat. And I didn't have to I didn't have to add the sugar to the peanut butter at all. I could just put straight peanut butter in there and that would have been fine. And I didn't have to put so much chocolate in the bottom. So I just put a, oops, a thin layer. But it's good. I don't even think I could eat the, the other two pieces. <laughs> it just looks pretty on the board. Mmm. Mmm. I can make chocolate chunks. 
and put them in some ice cream. Maybe if I can find some mint flavoring and do like a mint chocolate chunk. That'd be really good. And this, um, this chocolate is totally vegan. So I didn't use any milk. Mm. Yeah. Plain peanut butter and not so much chocolate in the bottom. That would be perfect. I did say I wasn't going to eat this. Right? I'm, not, I'm really not going to eat the other one. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. I'm not. Mm. Nice and creamy. Or. Maybe if I put. A little cornstarch to thicken the chocolate. That might help too. I don't know. That is yummy. So yummy. Nice little treat. So maybe Vern can make some chocolate. That'll satisfy her craving. <laughs> so I'm going to go put this in the fridge. And I want you to count your blessings. Be a blessing to somebody else. And be kind to yourself. Until next time.